Right then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome yourselves back to the Elite 2 Lobby, uh, Race 2 from Fuji International Raceway. So this one in real life, um, sort of followed directly on from the Willow Springs video we covered in the last one, and it's a reverse grid race. So um, the top lot start at the back, and the people who finished at the back last time start on pole for this one. So it, it always produces interesting racing is what i'm going to say and fuji's pretty notorious for having pretty much a dead stop for a t1 so um it's not a huge run down to t1 um, but it, it can produce some action for there's a ton of runoff so if anyone overcooks it a little bit they can um uh, they can use it just to do racing no major issues um i've not watched this yet but i am aware of something that happens during the race that we'll obviously have a look at um the grid in reverse order as you can see i'm not gonna, i'm not going to waste time going through it um, you will have had a peek at the cars in the intro um, and that's pretty much it we'll get this one underway I've not seen it we'll just fly by the seat of our pants and we'll go from there so we're ready to get underway As the cars all oh, get off, Bulke gets a really poor start off the line. He's in a McGann and it's front wheel drive and it, yeah, it'll just die. Uh, Dejku off the line goes down to third. Oh, fourth now almost immediately as rear wheel 72 man assumes the lead but goes wide. Um, that's going to let Chris Mack up into the lead. A few more cars in the background just uh, overcooking the braking point for T1 slightly but no major issues from this lobby as they go through T1. Chris Mack leads the way in the Ferrari 458 follow back for Buki in the Subaru uh, Dixon just uh, just looking up the inside in the Mustang uh, Buki in rear wheel 72 man fighting out honours for fourth place uh, a little bit further on down the grid we've got the shell shock well, there's a massive cluster of cars here with shell shock in the NSX just gets that gets through uh, Dejku continues his assault down the field in the BMW currently leading this train of four cars coming into the um, it's the Heb Chicane. Oh, that's a Shadow Hunter. He's just going to deliver himself up the inside. Uh, ends up backing out of it. Toss GT35 and Big Baz having a little bit of a scuffle uh, down in tenth. Obviously, a lot of these guys at the back at the minute are the guys that won out last time round. It's a nice looking Corvette there from uh, Audi Ferry. So these, these guys will be eager to um, get themselves up to the front ASAP. But this is a chance for Chris Mack now to uh, to assert himself as a fast driver and, and, get, and get away. If him and Fabuki can sort of work together in the early stages of the race, uh, there's, there's no reason why they can't break off. The food is a massive slipstream fast though. You've got this a huge, huge front straight. You see Bulke in the began that's just an absolute rocket ship in a straight line. Out, but probably regrets that because um, Dixon's going to get a slipstream from the cars above, so Bulke's going to have to absolutely send it up the inside, which he does, makes the corner brilliantly. Nice move there by Bulke. And Dixon has to tuck back into fourth, further on down. Um, still got Shell Shock and Shadow Hunter having a little bit of a fight as we come through turn two. Let's see if anything comes of that now. Uh, that was Rear Wheel and Shell Shock. My apologies for getting the names the wrong way around. Uh, for Buki and Chris Mack battling it out for the lead. Uh, obviously, early days. This is a. Um, oh, see that Dixon going for a move on Bulke. Gets the back end out of that car. Gets it quite out of shape. Probably a little bit of contact. Bulke not happy about that, giving the lights a bit of a flash, but he's got to worry about a shell shot behind him. Uh, probably last time flashing your lights. Uh, have a look in the mirrors, mate. You've got an NSX bearing down on you. Uh, shell shot. Does look to go for the move up the inside, but Bulke is able to defend that. Uh, that allows Rear Wheel 72 man to close up on this pack. Shadow Hunter seems to just be waiting for an opportunity to make a move happen. Uh, Dejku in eighth, doing a good job at the minute. Uh, we do know he's gone backwards in this race so far. Uh, but don't forget the reverse grid, that's, that's pretty much always going to happen, to be really honest with you. Tosh up to ninth at the minute, him and Big Baz. Still trying to work their way through the field and down here at the back it was it is pretty much business as usual for the opening lap. These guys will take a few laps to get up there. And meanwhile, Chris Mack and Fabuki battling it out for the lead. Fabuki's just slipstreaming himself at the minute. 
as soon as that bulky Subaru pulls out of the slipstream, it's just kind of dead stop on the overtake it's got, but he pulls out of the slipstream. A nice move there just up the inside, but Chris Max got the traction on exit. Uh, he might just have to tuck in on this one though. Oh, a little bit of contact there. I think Chris Mack thought he was, uh, thought he was a lot more alongside than he actually was. So we've got Dixon then up in third. Bulke chasing down. Bulke's still got the attention of Shell Shot though. Uh, Fuji is a little bit of a tyre killer. Uh, so a lot of cars that are good on the tyres. The NSX is one of them. As Shell Shot just makes his way up there gets himself past Bulke. Bulke's had a really slow on exit though and he's now all the way down in seventh. Uh, he's got Tosh and Big Baz for company now. Um, yeah, cars like them again will just start to tail off in pace towards the mid part of the race. Uh, the NSX is really good in its tyres. The GTR can eat its front. Uh, the Peugeot there that you see Tosh driving. Uh, that one gets itself all sorts of wrong. So it's a little bit of contact between uh, Big Baz and Bulke. Uh, Big Baz goes to the outside of the circuit. Uh, Bulke though, uh, just a pure act of retaliation for what he felt was contact. So we will uh, just review that. Uh, so we'll go on board uh, with the Portuguese man. So that's Big Baz in the mirror there. So you'll feel a little bit of contact here. There we go. Um, now what you'll see Big Baz do is, I mean, Bulke gets his gears on, but he sort of did slow down. Bulke just, just whacks him off the circuit. And um, that has to be said, that simply can't be tolerated. So that, um, that, that incident has been dealt with. Uh, Fabuki now leads to Chris Mack. Dixon in third place, Shadowhunter and um, Shellshock side by side going up the main straight. Shadowhunter's going to want that slipstream back, rear wheel and Tosh getting involved in that as well. Tosh is in the Peugeot, which is a rocket ship in a straight line. Uh, but that is another car that will suffer with tyre wear towards the latter stages of the stint. Shellshot's just going to look to make a move on Shadowhunter. Gets that move made on the braking. Uh, Shadowhunter just has to tuck in for the time being. Uh, rear wheel 72 man six just probably hoping at this stage that one of these guys might see each other off the circuit a little bit of contact there between shell shock and um, shadow hunter i think and it was just a little side on gt sport physics not the best in that in that regard uh, the dom in eighth audi ferry ninth scooby in tenth j wills in 11th and big bars after that um, let's just say yeet into the shadow realm uh, is right down at the back now will no doubt have done some damage to his car and his tyres in the process. Meanwhile, up in the front of the field, the Subaru of Fabuki leads the way. Fastest lap of the race at the minute with a 144.9. It's a damn fine lap. Chris Mack giving chase in the Ferrari. They have got a little bit, little bit of a gap to Dixon in third. And Dixon really now with a, bit of a clean air in front of him. No real challenge from behind. And he does really just want to get his, get his foot down and catch up to the guys ahead, Tosh in the Peugeot, uh, coming to the Peugeot strength, the straight, if he can get a good kick and exit, uh, he'll be bearing down on Shadow Hunter towards the end of that, uh, meanwhile we've got Shellshock, uh, Rio 72 and the Dom Dotter, uh, Rio 72 is not in the slipstream, so he's gonna, he might lose out big here, he needs to get himself tucked back into the slipstream as soon as possible, because uh, currently he is losing out. Audi Ferry in that Corvette looking to take advantage of any uh, misdemeanours that may go on ahead of him. Uh, everyone at the minute just keeping it nice and calm. You see Jay Wills there go for a, a bit of a lunge on Scooby. Um, I say lunge, lunge is the incorrect word. It was a good move to be made. Uh, so these two still battling it away at the front. We're seven minutes into this. Uh, I'm going to say we might see some two stops, but it's probably unlikely at Fuji because you lose a lot more time in the pit lane at Fuji than you did at Willow. Uh, it doesn't seem worth it. So a one stop for most drivers is probably what we'd expect to see. Around the 15 minute mile would make a lot of sense. 
just on board with Chris Mack as he chases down uh, the Subaru Fabuki. He's in the slipstream, so he's going to get a really good run on Fabuki. I expect to see uh, the leader go defensive any second now. Yeah, there he goes. Chris Mack just gets himself off the fault. Uh, what he's doing here is going for the cutback. Nice wide exit. Caught in for a late apex and get that move made. Uh, it's a lovely move there by Chris Mack. So that's Chris Mike now up into first, but you could probably expect these two to, to swap positions a few times. Uh, it does look like they're not giving each other too much of a hard time. I just appreciate that um, there's 20 minutes left of this one yet, so they don't want to be scrapping too much. Because uh, what you don't want to do is bring a driver like Dixon into play remotely early, uh, if you can get away with it. Dixon's part of the um, IGTSH team. Uh, they are a very fast bunch. I've been in practice lobbies with them this week. Uh, yeah, very fast bunch of drivers indeed. Uh, meanwhile, a little bit further in, Dixon Shadow Shadowhunter. He's been chased down by a horde of cars uh, made up of the Peugeot of Tosh GT 35R. Uh, Shellshock in the NSX, all is free wide there. Shellshock rear wheel 72. Uh, and Jay Wills, Jay Wills just trying to get his way through past Shellshock there. Just about gets that move made, but Shellshock's going to have the inside line. The NSX is a little bit more nimble than that Mustang. Just able to hold it on the uh, on the inside dash. Uh, Jay Wills just having to be just having to employ a little bit more patience uh, than he would probably like at this stage in the race. He's getting a lot of pressure from behind as well. Uh, he'd probably be better fixed saving his overtake for the straight and just get the NSX on pure American power. Fabuki ahead of Chris Mack again. These two still squabbling away for first. Side by side they go into T1. Plenty of respect given there. Chris Mack goes for the exact same move on uh, Fabuki again, but this time Fabuki got a lot of uh, a better exit. Uh, who's got the biggest testicles? Uh, well, that's going to be Chris Mack this time. Fabuki just bails out of it. Turn two isn't ideal place to run side by side uh, so one of them sort of had to give way there so kind of business as usual right now in the race big Baz, sorry Baz you've not got a lot of coverage so far I know you're recovering your race right now he's got a lot of work to do if he wants to redeem some points from this one these two again King Chris Mark on a good old squabble over first position. Now at this point in the race, potentially worth thinking about undercuts, overcuts. Uh, the undercut's quite powerful at Fuji because if you get some clean air, you can really hammer in a nice, uh, a nice outlap. Uh, because of the dead levels on the circuit, it just means that doing that extra lap on tyres isn't always the best idea. So we pick the action up lap nine, pretty much 15 minutes halfway through. Uh, Fabuki's not pitted yet, a couple of cars have, so Chris Mack did go for the undercut. Uh, he did get stuck behind a little bit of traffic on his outlap though, so his outlap wasn't the best. Uh, but he's still up within range. Uh, Jay Wills, I don't think has pitted at this, no he hasn't pitted at this moment in time. That Mustang can chew its front tyres as well. So he could potentially be holding Chris Mack up right now. And then I think a lot of these cars that we're looking at now have all pitted. Uh, Dixon came in the lap before, I remember seeing him go in. Um, Shadow Hunter and Tosha. So I'll, in fact, quite a few of these cars haven't pitted. I don't think Audi Fair is pitted yet. Uh, but we'll see how this plays out to, in the next lap or so. And we'll see if Fabuki does peel off into the pits. It looks like that's the way he's going, yeah. Let's see if he yeets it into the pit entry. Yeah, full send. There you go. That's how you need to do it. Soddy health and safety. That's that Jay Will's going to come in as well. Chris Mack. Oh, to slipstream for Chris Mack. Let's see if he comes out in the lead. All right, Fabuki then. Uh, it might be close. Let's not forget Chris Mack got held up. Yeah, there's Fabuki. Look. Just trying to get to T1 in time. Yeah, very close between these two again. Uh, 
Chris Mark will probably be swearing in that Ferrari. Triggered the undercut. He's now going to have all the tyres at the end of the race. So he's going to have to get a move made pretty sharpish on Fabuki. Because uh, if he's behind when his tyres go, well, that's not going to do any favours. If he's behind when his tyres go, uh, there ain't no way you catch him. Uh, Scooby, I don't think Scooby has pitted yet. We'll see. Um, because of the length of the lap at Fuji, uh, an extra lap can sometimes look a lot longer than it is. Scooby's really outbreaked himself there. Downhill working zone. Uh, in my race in the um, in the league I'm in, that's the only place on the circuit. Uh, that's the only place in the two circuits I made a mistake. So I forever detest that corner. I made a similar mistake in a GT3 league I was in once as well. I see Shell Shock and Shadow Hunter yet again. These boys have been loving a bit of a scrap at Fuji. Shell shock with the home support of the uh, Honda family in um, in Japan, roaring him on. And Shadow Hunter in the Nissan getting similar support. Uh, the French Peugeot gets booed everywhere it goes, but it's driven by an American, so in Japan probably not as popular as it should be as well. Right, yeah, a few cars peeling off into the pit as well, that was a bit. So the two GTRs, Rear Wheel 72 and Scooby going to the pits. J Wills, let me just do some on off and just check. Yeah, J Wills is on fresh tyres, so he has pitted now. Oh, didn't want to do that. There we go. Professional stream. So this looks like this is it until the end now. Chris Mack still struggling to get past Fabuki. These two still have a decent gap to Dixon in third behind. Dixon will probably want to take care of his tyres a little bit more because he seemed to shred him in that first stint. Uh, so if he can keep uh, if he can keep an eye on his tyres, uh, he's pretty much got third in the bag. Uh, let's have a quick skip through the field. Shell Shock and Shadow Hunter battles chilled out a little bit. Audi Ferry struggled in this race, he struggled to get that Corvette to up where it should be. And Big Baz having a bit of a race to forget, I think he'll say on this one. And whereas the thing is with these two, they, um, they love each other that much, they're not willing to be separated. Real good scrap for third developing, uh, involving Dixon, Don Dotter and Jay Wills. So Dixon's had a bit of a scruffy lap, and uh, Don Dotter's all over him like a fat kid on a cupcake. Uh, but Dixon's holding holding his own, so he's, he's got the inside line to the final corner. Uh, can't imagine Don Dotter's too bothered about that, because he can slip straight in more powerful Mustang down the straight. Jay Wills will be licking his lips in anticipation at these two scrapping away because um, he can see a podium on the cars here. Uh, we've about 10 minutes left to go. First and second just going round T1 now. Um, so uh, a win isn't out of the question for any of these guys, but they would have to have the, um, the last 10 minutes of a lifetime. So Jay Wills then goes around the outside of the Don Dotter. Again, it's going to be a question, question of whose testicles weigh the most as they come down into T2. And Jay Wills technically has a race in line to do us take that one first. Uh, the Don Dot just tucks himself up inside. Flicking through the field then. Tosh got past Shadow Hunter. Uh, so Shadow Hunter running an eighth now. Sort of on his own a little bit. Because he's got a fair old gap to Scooby. Uh, Audi Ferry. We will 72 man. Uh, down in 9th, 10th and 11th respectively. Uh, Baz, give him credit, he's really reeling these guys in up ahead, but um, he's sort of racing for consolidation right now. And we are top of the field then. We've got uh, Fabuki and Chris Mack still. Uh, Chris Mack's pace dropping off a titch. Barely noticeable. But I think he's just starting to cut the tyres on that Ferrari a little bit now. Battle for third. Uh, Jay Wills looks hungry to get past the other Mustang. So Dixon and Jay Wills 
seem to be battling out for third. Don Dotter always there, always present, stalking his prey. I do like the liveries, these P1 boys knock out, they do look good. Looks like a lot of time goes into them, the two Mustangs side by side then. They're going up the main straight. So this is uh, Jay Wills' view right now, as the um, Hungarian tucks himself up behind. Let's see if there's a little bit of bump drafting going on there, not this time round. Too competitive. As you see the Don Dotter just tucks himself up. A nice clean respectful racing from these three, looks like a lot of fun. See another car going in the pits there. Who was that? Was it? I've just seen that. I'm sure I saw a car in the pits. Maybe I'm dreaming. Who knows? Someone else, because um, something else happened. Oh, well, I said Tosh. I'm, I'm betting it was Tosh, you know. Yeah, well, I was looking at his lap time. Um, so Tosh now down in 10th, fresh tyres on that Persia, 5 minutes to go. Uh, he's got a lot of time to make up. Uh, he was running ahead of Shadow Hunter, so Shadow Hunter's his natural target. Uh, he's a good few seconds up the road though. Uh, Jay Will's now got past uh, the Don Dotter and Dixon, who are now scrapping over 4th. This is letting Jay Will's get out in front. Uh, Jay's got a Pretty sizable gap to Fabuki and Chris Mack though. He's kind of his work cut out catching those boys up. It's not like they're slow. Anything cracking off back here. It looks relatively line of stern to be honest. Doesn't look like there's any actual chaos. Big Baz has really reeled in these lot now and he's, he's in position. So the good thing for Big Baz is I guess he's got four cars ahead of him. So technically eighth is doable for Big Baz. Technically it's doable. He's got a few laps left as we see Tosh pull out the slipstream that rocket ship of a Peugeot. Probably got fresh rubber on it now though as well so that will help him out in the corner so he can go full beans now, so he can uh, get on with the job of attacking Shadow Hunter in 7th, Shadow Hunter's in the 147, so the tyres are dropping off that, uh, that GTR, uh, ignore the 142, that's an out lap that you miss a load of time on, so we'll, we'll get a representation of Tosh's pace very soon. Big Baz, he's uh, interesting to see if he does manage to get past any of the guys ahead. Uh, he's lapping in the 145s, rear wheel 146s, Audi Ferry 146, 147, Scooby 146, 147, uh, Tosh we don't know yet, so yeah in fairness Baz has got the pace. He's just getting a move made at Fuji isn't always the easiest because these are all giving each other slipstream right this second. And meanwhile the battle for fourth is still going. Looks like Shellshot's got himself involved in this now as well. Uh, the Don Dotter and Dixon scrapping over this one for now. Jay Wills has escaped up the road a little bit so he's uh, he's in Chill City. Uh, Chris Mack and Fubuki. I'd love to say they're still fighting but there's a little bit of a gap evolved between those guys the last couple of laps. Uh, looking at uh, the Don Dotter and Shell Shock down into T1. The Don Dotter's got an inside line. Shell Shock's going to have to go the hard way if he wants it. He does go the hard way, um, but unfortunately, uh, just doesn't get the traction on the exit. The Don Dotter keeps his fifth. Uh, but a good attempt to move there by Shell Shock. Definitely worth doing. Uh, yeah, Tosh is in the 45s now. He's just done his fastest lap of the race, 45-0. Is lapping a whole two seconds a lap faster than Shadow Hunter is. So I reckon Tosh will have him. But if he does get a Shadow Hunter, then he's he's basically out of he's, he's not gonna get these guys. That is too much of a gap. Unless there's some massive accidents. Uh, 
very defensive drive in there by Dixon. Now having to go that defensive compromises ability to get traction on exit and that has just let the Don Dotter in the Subaru drive up the inside. So we are approaching the end of this one now. I reckon one more lap after this for most of these guys. Chris, Mark and Fubuki. Yeah, we're probably looking at another uh, as a final lap for everybody now. Coming right up. So 17th for final lap. Starts now. Fubuki healthy lead over Chris Mack. Chris Mack healthy lead over Jay Wills. And the Don Dotter. Pretty healthy lead over Shell Shock has a small lead over Dixon. Dixon's made a... Has he made an error? That's a 151. Oh, I'm just going to go back and check. Don't know how to do this, but we'll have a look. So he was right in it with these boys. Yeah, he went off track. Just, just... Yeah, just got it. Because of the contact, he backed out on that shell shot take it. Yeah, he didn't want to... Um, he didn't want to profit from that contact, did Dixon? So, mate, all credit to you. Top-notch sportsmanship from the Hungarian there. Just lets the American uh, resume as normal in front of him. So that's what we like to see in the MRC. That's exactly what this club is about. Fair respect for racing. Tosh has got past Shadow Hunter. then. We did miss that one, I'm afraid. But um, Tosh is now past the Brit. The Brit on dying tyres now in 148 zone. Uh, the GTR kills its front uh, as it goes really deep into T1 uh, in an attempt to get that move made. Just has to go uh, a little bit off roading. Uh, Shadow Hunter's at risk of losing places to the guys behind as well. So Scooby is currently, currently ahead of Audi Ferry. Uh, Big Baz got past Rio 72 man. Given the length of the lap remaining, it doesn't look possible that he's going to be able to reel in uh, Audi Ferry up ahead. Uh, doesn't look like there's any obvious battles for position going on. Not that I can see. A few drivers close, but not within overtaking range. Uh, looks like the field spread relatively decent at this stage of the race. So, 10 seconds left of this one. The flag should drop by the time Fubuki gets there. That's a good win for Fubuki. I want to say he's in my fantasy MRC team as well, so thank you for scoring me some good points. Uh, Fubuki comes across to take his first win of the uh, Mature Racing Club Season 12. Chris Mack, solid podium for Chris Mack. Did a really great job of this one. Uh, Jay Wills, a solid drive from Jay Wills. Uh, from right at the back of the pack as well. Uh, same can be said for Don Dotter. He's absolutely battled his way to a fourth place. Good man, Shellshock. Good race for Shellshock. Sixth place for Dixon. Uh, Tosh GT35 in that rocket ship of Peugeot. Uh, Shadow Hunter and Scooby side by sides across the line. Followed by Audi Ferry, Big Baz, and Rear Wheel. So yeah, back to stock footage of my car. Um, I just do this. I, I usually just talk about. Um, uh, just talk about what happened at the end of the race, I guess. Um, easier than just chatting nonsense over the replay. Uh, right, so that is um, round one completed. Round two is on Friday, uh, and it consists of uh, Sardegna A, uh, which is a very tricky track. Um, I've fir done my first laps of it this week and really struggled to learn it, so it'll be interesting to see who's done the practice. Uh, but it's not a track we've seen before in its current sort of guise. Uh, Nürburgring GP is on the reverse grid race. Uh, another one that's got an epic T1, uh, as anyone that knows the Nürburgring will attest to. Um, that's it then. Uh, for this one, we've got a new driver next week. Unfortunately, following that incident, Bouquet did leave the league. Uh, so we've got a new driver uh, this time around, I think, uh, I think we might have two. I seem to remember there's a Greek bloke joined, but who knows. Um, yeah, we've got uh, Nikolaidis GR uh, driving for Sparco. He joins us next week. Uh, he's come up to this league. And we also have uh, Jay Johnson, 670, driving for Jurex. 
so he'll be hoping for some protection uh, during the remainder of the league. Hopefully we see Thundercat as well. Thundercat's a driver we know uh, from our Infinity GT League. We know he's a fast driver, so hopefully he can get himself into this one and we can have a full lobby for um, the next two races. Uh, those videos potentially up weekend sometime. Who knows? Depends what I've got on. Um, it's not like I can go out and do stuff, is it? Um, <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll go from there. So, if, uh, thank you very much for joining, ladies and gentlemen. I do appreciate uh, do appreciate to um, tuning in. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe already, and uh, give this video a like and a thumbs up or whatever it is you crazy kids do these days. All right, uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy, stay safe, wash your hands, and uh, keep two meters away from every other living thing. Thank <laughs> you.